Hey, this is Brian Pavey and you're on my runway sheet. Check me out on General Hospital as Detective Nathan West. Okay, well let's talk about your background first, because okay. I want to get to know you. Okay. So, you're half Irish, half what? English, Irish on my mom's side, mostly English, um, and then my dad's side is Dutch Indonesian. Okay, and where are you from? You're from LA originally. I'm born and raised in LA. I, uh, I grew up in Redondo Beach. I was a surf rat, you know, a lot of time in Hermosa, a lot of time in Manhattan. And, you know, I kind of bounced around a little bit. I lived in New York for a little while after high school. I lived in San Diego for a long time. Okay. And you've been pursuing acting since high school? Mm, acting is kind of a convoluted route. I started, I, I grew up kind of working a bunch of odd jobs in construction for my dad. And I would get scouted for modeling stuff. And I had some friends who were doing it, but I was never really kind of the type. It just, I don't know, it wasn't really my thing. You're kind uh, of a badass. <laughs> I don't know, I just like I'm a doer of things. And it just seemed a little Passive. fluffy to yeah. me. Um, and so now that you're acting, I feel like fashion comes along with the territory, and you're you're like a free spirit. I don't know if you would be like super into fashion. Are you into it? I feel like um, as you grow up, you develop this sense of how you represent yourself when you go out in public, um, and that's like stuff that you do with your hair. And, do you put lotion on? And, you know, <laughs> I I don't know that I'm particularly fashion forward. Uh, I I've kind of had to learn that as I go. But, well, like stuff, I guess, kind of the helps because they dress you up and somebody else makes the decisions for you and you get to decide. Like, this, can I do this? I guess I could do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. it works alright. But left to my own devices, I'm pretty simple. I wear a lot of black V-necks and dark jeans. That's pretty much what my entire closet is comprised of. And everything else has just kind of been like. Cliff's Notes stuff taken from other people who are pretty knowledgeable. Well, what do you think the biggest tip is that you've taken? Oh, God, I don't know that I could crystallize it into a singular tip. Uh, but I feel like, you know, especially like if you start to work out and you're fit, and a lot of guys get really modest about stuff like that. I'm pretty modest. I like got kind of a self deprecating complex. Uh, it's to, you know, I don't know, wear things that are fitted to you, things okay. that look okay. And don't be shy about it. It doesn't make you a tool for wearing a nice shirt. Or something like that. I don't know. So I mean, I've just kind of had to pick and choose which pieces of that that I've liked. You know, I don't know that my my wardrobe is particularly imaginative, but I think it's gotten a little bit better over time. I have more than t-shirts now. So. And now, you, I, I was amazed to learn that soap opera actors really don't have a lot of time off. You're constantly nope. memorizing lines. It's really a high pressure situation. Very high pressure, really, really fast, high page count, and we don't have seasons. So exactly. So you work a lot. You work a lot contiguously, which is cool. It's actually, it's great. I mean, it's a lot of work, but that's kind of the idea. So. Well, how do you decompress? Uh, I, I'm a, I'm a work alcoholic, so I go to the gym like, okay. all the time, but I always have. That's kind of just a me thing. It's just ingrained in who I am. Back in the dark days when I didn't have a lot of friends and my parents were busy and I was younger, I just, it gave me a place to be. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of carried that. Um, but I'm a nature buff too, so whenever I have free time, I, I get out. And the nature of our job too is great because we start so early. But I can work for six hours and I'm still done at one. Right. You know, so uh, it gives me six hours of daylight left to putz around with. So I hike a lot. You know, I, I try and get out and and I don't know, do the wind as That's often nice. as I can. Yeah, it's freeing. Something about the yeah, fresh air. That's definitely my my way to decompress is to get out into nature. Okay, rapid fire game. First thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Okay, first CD you ever owned. First CD Sublime. First concert you ever attended. Dave Matthews Band. No, Bad Religion. First kiss. First kiss. Where was it? Texas. <laughs> Where in Texas? Uh, north of Houston, Lake Conroe. Where? In a treehouse? Uh, on the lake on a jet ski. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, how about the um, something you're proud of that's not on your resume? Well, now my resume is totally different. So I remember back in the day, I, I had resume. I, I guess it would be, you know, the stuff that I can do in construction. 
Like okay. I'm, a, I'm a doer of stuff. Like I'm a great guy to have around if stuff in your house doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say that I can fix things. Something that you will pass on to your children? A love of nature. Okay. And a celebrity that has given you a piece of advice? Celebrity that was giving me a piece of advice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pull a recent one on this one. Fanola Hughes on the show uh, counsels me on acting stuff a lot. She's always inviting me out to. She takes classes with Ivana Chubbuck and things like that. Um, and it's to just enjoy the work, to find the fun in it. Okay. You know, even if you can't, if the scene is supposed to be really emotionally intense and one feels like you should cry in it or something like that, and you can't go there. Don't abandon it. It's seeing find the fun and just and, and that's fun. Okay. And a fashion trend that you wish would just disappear, like women wearing red lipstick or guys with popped collars make me violently angry. We know you can get violent, so let's put those collars down. Yeah, put the, put those collars down. Or if you're gonna pop them, just stay about thirty feet away from me. Okay. And just well, I mean, I, I, stay I'll clear of brick and mortar. I'll rephrase that. I'll rephrase that. You want to pop your collar? That's totally fine. Everybody gets to do whatever they want with their own life. But in my selfish little bubble, I wish that pop collars would all die a fiery death. Okay, that's a perfect no, way to end this collars. interview. <laughs> no moss. No moss. Okay, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you.